Welcome back to Alam PowerPoint channel. In this video, I'll be showing you on how to create this smooth glowing map animation effect in PowerPoint. It's very good if you want to do a presentation related to world map that requires some of the countries to be shown. In this case, I use Bricks platform as an example. I like this style because it's very simple, it's loop, and it's also very easy to create. Alright, first of all, we need to world map design. You can download this image in the link on the description. Make sure to put move transition in the first slide because we're gonna have every slide here with the transition now let's add a text on top of the map by inserting one text box like this go to the slide pane right click duplicate the slide in the next slide select and block all map area like this and then ctrl d to group it drag this text to the top drag the map so it appear bigger once you're happy with the size right click and then ungroup it now let's change every color of the countries that you want to show in your presentation russia to blue south africa to yellow india to orange and then china to red all right don't forget to change the brazil to green now go to slide pane right click duplicate slide in third slide because we talk about bricks so we need to carefully delete all of the non-initial bricks member country from the map why i'm choosing bricks because to be honest bro they are all unique. Brazil with football, Russia with their badass president, China, we can buy every product with cheap price from China, South Africa, they have very exotic animals, and India, uh, come on guys, everything about India is just unique. All right. Now right click, format background, and then choose black as the color of the background. Go to insert tab, click on text box. In this tutorial, I already have my text prepared in my clipboard. So for me, I'm just gonna paste it. Click on this white text, go to animations. Here, I'm gonna add wipe animation. Change the direction to from left and make it start with previous. Now I'll insert one round rectangle shape on the bottom of the slide. Drag the yellow dot to make it rounder. Get rid of the outline and change the color to white. All right, now it looks like something from iPhone, right? Duplicate the third slide. On fourth slide, delete the white text and then change the color of the title to white. Here, I change it to breaks initial members. Now select and drag the map shapes one by one and make sure to distribute it horizontally. Here, I need to make sure to organize them based on what countries that I'm gonna talk about in the next slides. If you're now in this step, no need to rush guys, because to be honest, I drag every shape slowly. Go to insert, add text boxes below the map shapes. For Brazil, just write the name, choose your font, align it to the center, and then change the color to green. Copy the text box and then distribute the text boxes horizontally. Rename all of the text boxes and then change the color one by one. Now duplicate the slide 4. In slide 5, we're gonna show Brazil, the country of football. Alright, so I can block all of the maps, drag it to the right outside of the slide. Delete the title like this and then drag the brazil text to replace the title increase the text size align left change it to white and then bold it okay now drag the brazil map to the slide right click format shape go to glow effect option select random preset change the glow color to green and then carefully add a little bit of the size and then reduce the transparency all right now as you can see guys the map is glowing in the dark we still have so much space here that's where we're gonna put our text so insert some text boxes and and put any kind of text that you want. For my case, I have it in my clipboard, so for me, I'm just gonna paste it. Now let's go back to slide four. Here, I'm lengthen the round rectangle on the bottom and then make it look thin a little bit. Copy it, go back to slide five, delete the rectangle on the slide five, and then paste the rectangle we've copied before. Now drag down the rectangle to outside of the slide. All right, believe me guys, next step is gonna be much easier. Duplicate the last slide in six slide, zoom out, reduce the size of the Brazil map, drag it down, outside of the slide and then delete all of the text like this. Drag the Russia map to the slide like before, right click, format shape, avec option, click on any random glow effect, adjust the size, color, and reduce the transparency. Now you can add your text. For me, I'm just gonna paste it like before. All right, drag the Russia map down to outside of the slide, duplicate the slide six. We're moving on to the slide seven. In slide seven, drag down the Russia map, delete all of the text. Now we drag India map to the slide. Don't forget to increase the size. Just like before, in format 
a shape, add random glow effect, then change the color and reduce the transparency. Now we can insert the text just like that. Duplicate the slide 7. In the slide 8, do the same step like before. Drag the map down and then make it smaller. Get rid of the text and then drag the next map to the slide. This is the trader country, China. You know guys, I buy a lot of high quality cheap things from China. Now add glow effect, reduce the transparency and then change the color to red. Once you're done, you can insert your text. Duplicate slide 8. In slide 9, I think you guys know what to do. Reduce the size of China map, drag it down, remove the text. Drag the South Africa map, add glow effect and then reduce the transparency. Now insert your text. Just like that. Now, we're gonna make this map loop so you can play it infinitely. What you're gonna do is select the map slide where we show all of the map icons, right click, duplicate it, and then drag the new one to the last slide. Now, select the slide with the whole map, duplicate it, and then just like before, drag it down to the last slide like this so it appear at the end of the slide. Now, go to slideshow tab, click on that set up slideshow, look at show option, and then make sure this loop option is remain active. Now the presentation is done. Easy right? If you watched the whole video, I think you can create your own template with this. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe so that I can create more video for you guys. Thank you.